As the international community begins to re-engage with Iran and trade and diplomatic links are reignited, Iran citizens are hoping for a new era of prosperity. Among them are Iran's 350,000 Baha'is uh, persecuted by the current regime throughout their history, living as second-class citizens in their homeland. Daniel Campus has a look at the minority and its past. Baha'i history begins with the Bab's declaration in Shiraz on the evening of May 22nd of 1844. The Bab proclaimed himself to be the return of the hidden 12th Imam. As the Babi movement spread in Iran, violence broke out between the ruling Shia Muslim government and the Babis and ended up when government troops massacred the Babis and executed the Bab in 1850. The Bab had spoken of another messianic figure, he whom God shall make manifest, one of the exiled followers of the Bab, Baha'u'llah in 1863 in Baghdad, claimed to be the messianic figure expected by the Bab's writings. All these founding figures of the Baha'i faith are currently buried in the Baha'i gardens of northern Israel, in Haifa and Akko. From the beginning, Baha'is have been seen as apostates from Islam, and according to some Islamists, they must choose between repentance and death. Since the 1979 Islamic Revolution in Iran, Baha'is are also accused of being Zionist agents for having their world center in Haifa. Today there are over 100 Baha'is jailed in Iran because of their religion. They're the country's largest non-minority religious group, frequently harassed by security services and wrongly imprisoned. They're discriminated against in employment, obstructed from earning a livelihood, with their holy sites destroyed and their cemeteries desecrated. The Baha'is have also been denied access to higher education since 1981. Still in effect today is a 1991 secret memorandum of the Supreme Revolutionary Cultural Council authored by the Iranian government, stating they must be expelled from universities once it's known they are Baha'i. In 2008, seven Baha'i leaders were arrested and put on trial at Branch 28 of the Tehran Revolutionary Court. In 2010, Iran promised the Human Rights Council to improve the situation, but instead, violations of human rights against a minority have intensified, as many nations move towards a more optimistic relationship with Iran. The story of Baha'is reminds the international community of Iran's failures to fulfill its promises to grant human rights to many of its citizens, especially its minorities. Oh.